Hey guys, Sapphire Salon, sorry. <laughs> I know that was too far oh, looking off my makeup. Anyway, hey guys, Sapphire Salon, right here. Uh, today's video is going to be about how to obtain your higher self. You know, when we think of higher being, we think of extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial. That's not what I'm really saying here. What I'm talking about is your utmost, highest, most confident self you can be. It takes a while for some people to get to the stage. I know for sure. I'm still struggling to get to that stage. Um, but yeah, so this, uh, this thing's gonna be about like the expectations and the reality of trying to reach your higher self as a goal. Key factors in trying to obtain your higher self are number one, Confidence. Confidence is a key, the most keyest of factors of all you can, you know. Okay, confidence goes a long way. You know how people say fake it till you make it? Well, this is fake it until you actually believe it, if you know what I mean. Okay, let, let's say for instance you're a naturally shy person. Um, I know I tend to be shy and I'm only shy around the opposite sex. I don't know why I get like that. It's not because I think every guy is flirting with me. It's just, ah, I don't know. Something with, with guys, I'm just really like, oh, not like bashful, but I'm like, I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, when I'm in public, here's an example. When I'm in public and I want to make myself a little bit more known, I will directly stare at somebody in the eye which is another key factor in, in confidence to obtaining your higher self and speak clearly and and very uh, functional okay you know not slurring my words trying to be as pronounced as I can be okay that will give off the illusion I guess for that moment that you are very uh, confident okay the next thing you need as another factor to obtain your higher self will be um, not just confidence as in, you know, uh, the way you speak, but your body, okay? Yes, there's that saying that everybody says your body is your temple, okay? How you portray your body is how people will see you and how you portray it is what you will attract, okay? You know, I have I have had friends, I'm sorry guys, girls, whatever, that have come to me for advice and they wonder why they attract these certain quote unquote losers. It's messed up to say that, okay? You really shouldn't be calling anybody a loser because you're not perfect yourself. Um, let's just say people that are lost, okay? Um, these people are in for one goal, and the only goal is just to have sex, sexual intercourse. Sorry, sorry to break it to you, but I mean, obviously if a guy has, a guy or girl has very vulgar things on their, their social media, and they're very, it's not always like, if you're open with your sexuality, you're, you're, you're sweat and you're easy. But it's the words you put into these to these captions and the way you express it and the way you show yourself, okay, is what you will attract, all right? Um, I know I am a very sensual, not sexual, sensual person. Sexual is more on the lines of sexuality, okay? I'm very sensual, whereas I like to touch, okay? I like to touch things, right? Um... I think another key factor into uh, not just body confidence, but another key factor into becoming your higher self is to be aware. And when you say aware, it's not, whoa, what just happened? Or it's who, what, when, where, and why. Okay, I don't know if y'all learned that back in elementary school, 
you know, when your teacher will write on each freaking paragraph who, what, when, where, and why, okay? The reason why they had you do that is to break down what's actually happening. I'm not saying every time you're having a conversation with somebody, you know, to be like, okay, who are you? What do you want? Where are you from? Why? You know what I mean? Not, like, you don't want to study them exactly too much because they'll give off the vibe that you are very, very picky. And if you are, maybe that's a good thing. But obtaining your heart yourself, you're trying not to give give off the impression and you're trying to, to, to put in yourself that you are a um, you are a humble being. You're not trying to make it seem like you're arrogant, okay? Um, so when I'm saying by who, what, where, what, and why, it means in the sense of, you know, think, be aware. You know, what does this person want in life? You know, ask them, speak life into the person you actually are interested in. You know, and this doesn't have to be dating. This could be friends, the people that are around you. Okay, I'll admit, yes, I have been a negative friend at a time. Okay, I've learned and I reflected from my mistakes and I just, you know, now that I've been a little bit more solitary, you know, I kind of realized that, you know, I'm not, like, it's nice to have friends, those emotional connections, but it's also good to be on your own for a bit to figure out who you really are without somebody else's approval, if that makes sense, okay? Um, so like I said, you know, who, what, when, where, and why, you know, study this person, but not don't study them like a lot, like to freak them out, you know, because then you'll make them run away. You know what I mean? So you make them uncomfortable and we don't want that. Okay. Another objective to obtaining your higher self is loving yourself. That is another big factor. Loving yourself plays the most important role in obtaining your higher being. Okay. If you cannot love yourself first and you expect somebody else to fix that for you, you are truly lost my friend, okay? You do not need somebody else to be happy. And I'm sure many people probably have told you this advice. You don't need all these groups of friends that want to be around you or, or are nosy about you to be happy. I know people who are very popular and they they are surrounded by all these people but yet they are so alone when they actually need help and when they need a friend to talk to and maybe they'll have that one friend but that one friend's probably getting tired of all the you know all the drama you know what I mean and I know because I was that person if that makes sense okay <clears throat> like I said I'm still trying to become my higher being okay uh, let's see, what's another key factor besides loving yourself? All right, so I guess um, when you love yourself, things will start to make more sense. You won't feel like you have to owe another person, especially when you first meet them. You don't feel like you have to owe them an explanation to why you love yourself. Oh, you're wearing too much makeup. Did I ask you if you liked it? Did I need your commentary? You know what I mean? Like, if they want to wear makeup, let them. That's their thing. You know what I mean? And even if you do notice notice that they have a uh, insecurity issue, and if they want to talk about it, let them talk about it. Otherwise, do not force it out of them. That's what drives people away. Okay? You know. Um, another key factor in obtaining your higher self is to get rid of being jealous. Jealous is the most ugliest jealousy is the most ugliest thing you can ever show to another person whether it be your same sex or it be an opposite sex jealousy will get you nowhere okay i know all right i thought i could never be who i am right now i thought oh these girls they're they're so you know popular, pretty, and I'm just a late bloomer, and da 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 and you know, these, it, it's just, 
it's pointless just to think that I wish that I wish that I had somebody else's life. Sorry, I had to cut off the video real quick. I thought somebody was at the door, but it was Avery messing with the, the handles on the dresser. Um, anyway, so jealousy is never gonna get you anywhere. All it is is, is going to cause you caught all that jealousy is going to cause you is pain. Self hate and pain. My dog. I, I I swear she has like she's like a ghost. She just walks really quiet. You know what I mean? Like you're like, look at the tip taps. Anyway. Okay. Another key factor in obtaining your higher self is to uh, nurture yourself. Okay? No matter what anybody says, they're gonna tell you that uh, you're being uh, arrogant, they're gonna tell you you're being um, rude in a sense they're gonna tell you you're you're being stingy I guess you know conceited they're gonna tell you you have an ego they're gonna tell you that you have an attitude and it's just like look okay the only reason why your attitude and your ego should ever 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 become so high is when it is completely necessary Okay, and this is talking about, you know, altercations with somebody maybe or, you know, getting a point across. Very thorough, you know, of course, no violence involved, you know. Um, but I think that people must concept that when you're being conceited, you can tell the difference when you're being conceited in a sense of trying to nurture yourself and being conceited as in being arrogant. Being conceited as an arrogance is like, oh, look at all this stuff I have. I, I have so many pencils, like, man, I'm bomb. I have a calculator, you know what I mean? And it's materialistic, okay? Being conceited as in nurturing yourself is pampering yourself, showing that you are about yourself there's there's no stopping how you're gonna nurture yourself you can nurture yourself through food you can nurture yourself through um uh like social uh gatherings like through through showing you know showing off like you know you have to know what i mean okay um one more key fact i feel like i'm missing something i feel like i'm missing something Another key factor in obtaining your higher self is limit your, uh, not your beliefs, but your stigmas, okay? Stigma, stigma is, uh, or like your dilemmas, your problems, okay? Maybe that's a better word to use. Limiting your problems. You know, they have that picture online, I don't know if y'all seen it, but it's with the, the, the owner, the dog owner, and the dog. And they're they're sitting next to each other, right? So the person, the owner, has a little thinking bubble above their head with, you know, errands they have to run and things they have to do, things they're worrying about, right? Their dilemmas, their their problems. The dog, the dog is just thinking about, hey, I'm with my my buddy right now at the park and we're looking at trees. We're here. You know what I mean? Think in the moment. Think of now. It's not. It's not so hard to let go. You know what I mean? I know she's taking it easy. She's just walking around like nothing. Hi, mama. Huh? Come here. Come back. See? She's chill. That's what I like about, you know, pets. They are, they have a care in the world. And you're like, huh, Sapphire? How the heck do I do that? Meditate. Meditate has to, has, doesn't have to do about Wicca. I'm Wiccan as a choice, as, as a, I mean, by choice, but I choose to meditate. I believe in chakras. These are different religions that I take partake within Wicca, okay? I do uh, regressions, I do uh, crystal works, I do shaman work, and, and it's not like I'm, I'm a professional just yet, but I will get there eventually, you know what I mean? But... Like I've, I've always said, you know, it's never good to fight fire with fire. All right, you will just end up getting burned. Okay. And 
what I mean by that as I'm saying talking about you know limit your 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 stigmas don't fight fire with fire by by to get rid of your problems okay because you will only destroy yourself in the end that's all I gotta say for this video it was nice talking to y'all. If y'all really like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are a very spiritual person, go ahead and, and I was gonna say like, but I just said thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And I will have more videos on the way. Um, y'all have a great day, evening, night, whatever. And blessed be. <laughs>